Hello everyone. Welcome to Topic of the Day. In this edition, we will discuss about the dark matter. Now recently, an astronomical observation suggested a significant part of universe is made up of the dark matter which interacts with the rest of the universe only through gravitational pull. Now what is dark matter? Dark matter, though it is never detected, is believed to be present in the entire universe. Its existence is presumed because a number of observable celestial phenomena could not be possible if the universe did not have much more matter in it than whatever is seen. It is believed to make up more than 95% of the universe. Its gravitational force prevents stars in our Milky Way from flying apart. Now, unlike the normal matter, that is the stars and the galaxies, the dark matter does not interact with electromagnetic forces. Let us discuss on the recent studies on dark matter. The underground or accelerator experiments, like the famous one called the Large Hadron Collider in Switzerland, that is the world's largest accelerator, have failed so far. There is also a gravitational lensing effect to look for primordial black holes between Earth and the Andromeda galaxy. This gravitational lensing was first observed by Arthur Eddington in 1919. It is an effect of Einstein's theory of general relativity. Now, what is gravitational lensing? It is a phenomena that occurs when a huge amount of matter or a cluster of galaxies creates a gravitational field that distorts and magnifies the light from objects behind it, but in the same line of sight. Massive objects like galaxies can blend light significantly, producing multiple images, which is called strong lensing. Now the lighter objects like the stars or black holes bend light less and this is called micro lensing. There was an experiment called Xenon 1T. It uses the dual phase liquid or gas Xenon technique and is located underground at the laboratory called Nazionali del Gran of Italy. Now let us talk about how is the dark energy that is hypothetical is different from the dark matter. Everything we see, the planets, moons, massive galaxies, make up less than 5% of the universe. And about 27% is dark matter, while 68% is the dark energy. While the dark matter attracts and holds the galaxies together, the dark energy repels and causes the expansion of our universe. Also, the theory of general relativity talks about invisible forces that attracts objects to one another. It talks about the invisible force that attracts objects to one another and gravity is a curving or wrapping of space and therefore predicting that empty space can have its own energy. Now let us take up a practice question on this topic. Consider the following statements. First, the dark matter in space interacts with the space objects through electromagnetic force and second, the bending of light by space objects through gravitational distortion is called gravitational lensing effect. Which of the given above statements is correct? You can write your answers in the comment section below. So the correct answer is B that is only the second statement is correct. The first statement is wrong as dark matter in space interacts through gravitational pull. Therefore the correct answer is B only. So this was all for today's topic of the day. For regular updates, you can follow us on our social media handles. And for more such videos, do stay tuned to the next IAS YouTube channel.